And also interesting what you uh, mentioned to me before we started to record, and that's that, um, you know, Jim Harbaugh just didn't bring these two guys in to run the defense and take his hands off, but uh, you don't want a meddling head coach. But at the same time, Harbaugh's got his own impressions of what could be done from a personnel standpoint, and he certainly made an impact on some personnel moves. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, so. Mike Stainer still specifically in in this year, he's moved from a wide receiver and now is playing in the nickel spot as well. I think he's seeing uh, time on both sides of the ball, which is kind of crazy. But Steve Clankscale mentioned, well, first of all, he called him a dog. He said that dude could play pretty much any position. He's going to be physical. He's going to be one of those guys that just makes it happen. So that's exciting. But um, what he said is it's actually helped him on both sides of the ball. Now when he lines up a wide receiver, he knows what that nickel is looking at, you know, and he knows what that guy's about to do. And then same for on the other side. When he's at nickel, he's played that slot receiver position. He knows what, you know, what routes are they're looking at right there. Um, so it's definitely interesting to see what Jim Harbaugh has done with this roster. We've seen it with guys like Joel Honigford moving from offensive line to tight end. We've seen it with uh, Hassan Haskins, obviously one of the greatest moves I'd say, you know, in recent history for moving him from linebacker to running back became, you know, an integral part of that run for Michigan this past year. Even going back to Zach Gentry, Zach Gentry was a highly touted quarterback. You move him to tight end. Now he's played in the NFL, you know, gotten some snaps at, at tight end. So Jim Harbaugh looking at a roster from a, from a big standpoint, a larger outlook, I think has done a really, really good job, which, is not easy when you're looking at 150 guys and you, you know, think about all the responsibilities as a head coach to be, you know, that good at, at looking at your roster and seeing what you've got, I think is pretty dang good.